Back off. Destiny is awaiting me. All right. Before the zombies get to me. Here I go. One, two, three. Guys, we're home. We're home, guys. Yes. So, guys, now that we have gone through some amazing journeys, right? We went and we did a an epic survival series with one of my favorite mods, Mechanism. And then we jumped into the Lost Cities series and uh, had to make it home. And that took a long time. And now, guys, now that I'm home, now that I'm not long, no longer stuck in the game, uh, I have something new that I want to bring to you guys. I want to try my very first hardcore series and i don't intend on ending this series until i am forced to because i die because you guys know in minecraft uh hardcore is uh you die and you lose your game you lose your safe it's over so and uh, and it's gonna happen <laughs> i will die eventually I, I guarantee it because i am still i feel like a minecraft noob and i will make newbie mistakes so what i'm gonna do specifically is i'm never gonna film ahead of schedule because I'm going to be asking you guys as the audience a lot of questions. So if you would be willing to help me out in the comments, I will always be reading the comments and getting answers from you guys before I film the next episodes so that we're always on the same page. So let me switch over to the game and uh, we're going to get this baby started. All right, guys, I'm going to make a new world. It's going to be called Klaus Hardcore. Okay, Klaus Hardcore. And of course, it's going to be we got to change it to an actual hardcore game. And um, it's, I don't know, data packs, game rules. I don't think I need to do anything. I just need to create a new world. Here we go. All right. And I've got to make sure that the audio is actually playing through here. But I'm excited, but I'm also very, very scared. Um, I, I have never played a, a, a hardcore world before. Yes. Okay. So I'm good. And I am punching a tree. So we know that we're starting the game the right way, right? Um, just paying attention to exactly, um, uh, what's going on. So, um, I, I don't know, again, does anything else change in hardcore mode? I've never even done it before. I've just was told by some really great friends of mine that watched the channel and they said, you know what? You should do a, a hardcore mode. So, uh, shout out to them. They know who they are. And I've, again, I've never done it, but I do know one thing, as I said at the beginning, if you die, you lose your game. And there goes the series. So we'd have to like start over or something. I don't know what, what we'd do. But um, yeah, this is going to be exciting and scary all at the same time. So let's just start off with a uh, crafting table. And then, of course, you got to get your sti sticks. There we go. I'm just going to make a few of those. And then, oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Planks. I'm just going to make a bunch of planks. I want to make sure that I'm outfitted with all of the right things from the get-go. Even if I only have a sword out of wood, at least I'll have that, as opposed to having nothing. You know what I mean? So there's all of that junk. Let me go ahead and take up what I've got. And I need to sit, I need to go grab myself some stone now and i'm also kind of looking around to see what's out there i mean we have like a dark oak forest that's really really good for wood but it's also kind of a safe place like if you get up above the dark oak forest and it's easy to do that then i can make a house on top of it and that'll go really well so i'm just kind of looking also is like food different in hardcore mode i think i see some pumpkins that's really great and some sugar cane too so let's just head off in this direction here. I've got a ravine, so that's really useful for uh, getting down lower in the in the worlds and stuff. Because we're going to need to find diamond, obviously, the, the whole nine yards. You guys, have, we've done several survival series before, and that, that was always, basically, that was always preparation. Like, that was always training for the day whenever, whenever I take on a hardcore series. I knew this was coming eventually, um, but I was never sure, like, how soon it would come and if I would be prepared. And I'm I'm obviously not even close to prepared. <laughs> I don't even feel halfway prepared. Uh, but let's go ahead and get some pumpkins. The pumpkins are pretty good for food, I guess. And 
I can actually build an automated uh, pumpkin harvester really, really fast and easy as long as I go to the nether. Which, I don't intend on going to the nether for a while. Let's just be honest. Definitely don't want to, but I'm going to have to eventually, right? Um, okay, so last thing, I need to make sure that I kill myself some sheep. I forgot about some sheep. I gotta I have a bed, okay? I'm not going to be sleeping, uh, or I'm not going to be trying to survive all night long. You guys saw that in Lost Cities, and it was brutal, bro. Brutal. So... Sorry about that sheep. I'm I really am. I hate having to murder these sheep like this, but you know what? Y'all are going to you're gonna help me with my survival, ultimately. Okay, so there's a dark oak forest. I'm thinking actually of making my house like on top of the dark oak forest. I feel like that would be a safe place because I don't think mobs can spawn on top of the trees. Can they? Can they can they spawn on top of the trees? That would be really bad if they could, because I don't think they can. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm actually gonna do a few more of these and I can make some ladders. I only made three. Oh my goodness. Here, let's do this again. There we go. Do like so. Very good. Okay. So let's just do like so. Let's put a. Let's do like this. And I just want to make a. Okay, I've got, I need more ladders apparently. Um, I want to make ladders. And I want to get all the way to the top. So, I need three more. Not so bad. Um, so, the whole purpose of a survival series is simply to survive, right? But with hardcore, I feel like the, the problem is worse. Because, like, if you... Like, if you die in a survival... Like, a regular survival game, then it's no big deal. It's like, okay, well, I'll just, you know... I'll just move on with my life. Uh, but in, in hardcore mode, you can't do that. So, I feel like it's going to be really, really tough. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh, where did my, my crafting table is down here. Um, I'm going to make my bed now. I'm just going to go ahead and make my bed and I'm going to make sure that I'm, I've got it so that I can sleep. Okay. So I've done that. Now let's go get some stone. And also I need to secure another food, like another way of getting food. And actually, you know, that ravine is going to come in handy. Check this out. So I thought that was just a hole in the ground, but actually it was a, <laughs> it was just a small hole. It was like a hole that you dug whenever you didn't feel like digging and then you quit halfway through. Alright, so there is some coal. So that's what I was hoping for. I was finding some coal so that I can make some torches so that every little spot that I see isn't a death trap. So, um, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do now. I'm thinking, like, right... Uh, I need to be able to see where that coal was. I want to kind of line up to where I'm going to come out right next to that coal. Yeah, like right there. Okay, so here, let's just. Yeah, okay, so that ledge there. Easy. No problem. So I'm going to actually get myself some coal day one. Yes, that's right. And hopefully I don't get too, uh, hopefully I don't get too uh, hungry doing this. Okay. All right, so the process has begun, digging down, and the whole purpose right now is for me to to make it down into the uh, into the ravine. So I think that'll do it, and to get this wooden axe. So now I'm finally going to get some cobblestone, which is great. Made it to the Stone Age. That's awesome. I'm a bit concerned because I'm already hungry, and I don't know what time it is. I probably should have looked at the sun before I started doing this, but I wanted to get some some torches like that was number one priority for me was getting some torches get some torches, which means I need to get myself some uh, Coal which means that I need to get myself a, a bunch of cobblestone so I can build something and also I'm so sorry It's so dark guys. Um, I, I will fix that as soon as I crack open the uh, The ravine here. I'm about to come through and you guys will be able to see really, really well. This is survival, guys. This is, this is, uh, what, what is this? This is hardcore mode right here, guys. Hopefully I don't run into death. Because, you know, death, death lurks at every quarter. It really does. And can I get coal with a, a stone pickaxe? I think I can. I, for some reason, I want to say it's only iron that can do that. But I'm also thinking it's probably... Oh, a stone pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have found... I'm sorry, it's so dark, guys. I will... I'll be out of here soon. Okay, so let me just make uh, 
a regular cobblestone pickaxe. There we go. Very good. And now I've got the stone pickaxe. All right, so I got some coal. This is awesome. And I think if I plow through this a couple of times, I'll make some light. And I've got lots of coal. This is fantastic. There we go. That was a really, really big vein of coal. Oh my goodness. That was beautiful. I, I wanted to get some good amount. Actually, it's going to get dark soon. Okay, I've got to be fast. Let's just get all this coal and then let's bail. And also, I see some iron over there. So I definitely want to do the same thing on the other side, but I want to get iron. If I can get iron like day one, oh snap, I see, I hear a, I hear a zombie. Um, if I could get iron like day one, that would be amazing. Oh, I'm hearing zombies, this is not cool. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, I got it. Alright, so what am I hearing right now? Oh, I think they're just down below. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go up here. I've got my uh, my coal, so I'm good for now. I need to make some torches, and I want to cook some mutton. I'm probably... Whoa. I thought I heard a creeper. That would have been the worst. Um, I'm going to kill myself some more sheep, because I need some like good amounts of food for now. So I'm so sorry, sheep. I'm so sorry. I mean, hopefully more will spawn, because eventually I'm going to want to have lots and lots of sheep, right? I'm sorry, sheep. And extra wool is always good, too. You know, you have an extra bed. You can always use it. Get out of here. All right, and I think that is all for the sheep. No, okay, I thought there was one more. Oh, I'm right, okay, there's one more. Nice. All right, so uh, yeah, hardcore survival. Get down, son. All right, so let's now slap down this crafting table. It's gonna get dark soon, I guarantee it, but I can't see it. Is the sun over there? I cannot see the sun at all. What the heck? Is that something to do with... <laughs> Why? Okay, alright, so I'm gonna, uh... Get myself a furnace. Very good. Okay, throw the coal, like half the coal, in there, and, uh, cook the mutton. Now, I'm only gonna do eight, because one coal does eight mutton. Sorry, sheep. So sorry. Yeah, that was, was rough. Um... Get some more torches, I guess. I just want to make like a little ring of light just to just to feel like I'm safe-ish, okay? <laughs> safe-ish. Okay, get up here, and then I've got the bed in my inventory. I don't think anything can spawn. Oh, the sun's over there. Okay, cool. So sun rises that way. Sweet. So let's slap down this bed now on top of the trees and take a sleep. This is excellent. Now I'm sorry that the the face cam is in the way of the achievements, but that's you know that's that it is what it is for now anyway. Okay, so, uh, did I just hear a dog? I feel like I just heard a dog. And actually, you know, it's really great to be near a forest like this because I can maybe get a fox. If I could find a fox and some sweet berries, then I can probably set myself up an automated sweet berry farm. So, so useful for the beginning of a hardcore series. So, I'm just kind of looking around for now just to kind of see if I see anything. I'm not seeing anything right off the bat, although I think I just saw some more sheep. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I was hoping to find some sweetberry, but that's okay. We're going to be all right. Um, all right, so the food is here. I've got two raw mutton. I've only got one torch, though. Uh, I'm going to want to make a lot more torches, so let's go ahead and just make a bunch of sticks, lots of, a lot of that. There we go, and torches. Perfect. Okay, so I've got torches, and I also need food. And you know what? I should... Oh, that was the raw mutton! I accidentally just ate raw meat, guys. I'm gonna die now. I'm, I'm gonna die of some sort of disease. My bad. Yeah, that's more like it. I, did, I saw that the, the food thing wasn't changing. I was like, oh my gosh, what, what did I do wrong? Hardcore so intense. Uh, but no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm alright. Okay, so, um, I was thinking actually I should probably make, oh, I don't have enough wood for that. Okay, I'll just do it later. Um, I was thinking I should probably do something special, like build a chest, put some stuff in it. But right now, I'm just going to put down the sugar cane. Here we go. 
There's another sheep. Should definitely kill that baby soon. All right, and I want to get this iron that's over here too. So I just came out. I'm down there. Uh, I don't see where the. Oh, dang it. Okay, I know how to. I know how to get rid of it. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought, oh, game over. I just died. See, you got to be so careful. You have to be so flipping careful, especially whenever you're near a ravine. All right, so where do I want to dig to get to the iron? So that's another big one. Uh, if I can figure out, or you know what, I could just build a land bridge. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that instead. It'll be easier. Let's go down here and definitely want some light every few steps. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, I can just make a land bridge. I've got plenty of material. I got dirt. I got diorite. I got pumpkins. Nobody wants to walk on a land bridge of pumpkins, though. All right. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. I've only got six of these, but that's okay. I've got extra dirt. Right there. I'm hearing zombies, but I'm not seeing zombies. So... I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I hearing so many zombies, yo? Alright. Get some iron. Nice. Alright, so day two. Okay, technically this is day two, because I've already slept once. But the fact that we've already gotten a decent amount of iron, I'm going to be able to get like an iron sword. Obviously, I need some weaponry um, and uh, and shields. Okay, shields. Shields very important. Armor very important. We're going to do all these things and more. Okay, so um, I'm just going to hop in here and grab this iron over here too while I'm here. Although I'm hearing every zombie in the book right now, I'm really hoping I don't like open up the cave that lets them out. Yeah, that's a terrible sound. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> There's so many of them. Why are there so many zombies? You can hear it. It's like uh, it's like a, listening to a, a pack of coyotes, you know? It sounds way worse than it probably is. There's a creeper down there. Alright, so I've already taken that iron out of there. Um, I don't see anything immediately over there except for maybe a little bit of coal. And I do see some iron over here. So maybe I can... Uh-oh. The zombies know I'm here. They'll find a way to me if they can. Here. Um, let's just... I'm going to chop myself a, a walkway, a path that keeps me up and out of their reach. It's good, though. I'm accumulating stone. That's a good thing to do. Plus, I'm using up my stone pickaxe, which I don't intend on using any more stone pickaxes after this. And I can build another land bridge over to the other bit of iron once I get over there. Once I get near enough. Got some granite. Definitely want to do some building. Granite's a beautiful rock. In real life. I mean, not really in Minecraft. Okay, I think this is just about it right here. Alright. You know what? Actually, I'm going to go one more over. trying to like strategically cut across to where they can't actually get to me even if they tried okay dirt uh maybe i can go like maybe i can go like this yeah there's more iron over there too this is sweet okay actually you know what i can probably just like i can probably just hop over yeah this is okay because i don't see any outlets on this side this is like totally sealed up. That's awesome. So as long as I'm over here during the day, then this will work out great. I'm going to use this uh, wooden pickaxe. Pickaxe, Actually, I forgot I had it. Uh, but I want to use the stone one whenever I take out the, uh, the iron. But there you go. Got some more iron. There's more up there too. This is fantastic. Um, okay. I thought I saw a zombie. So I'm like super paranoid right now. I've never been this scared while playing Minecraft. I really haven't. Because, I mean, let's just be honest. Um, if you feel like you can't die... Like, oh my gosh, I feel like a scared little bunny. Um, if you feel like you can't die permanently, then you don't have a lot of fear. But I have a lot of fear right now. Like, I can hear stuff in my ears, and I know that if they get to me, I'm done. And I'm done forever. And I have to start over. I mean, I haven't made a lot of progress yet, but the, the thought of having to start over ever is a terrible, terrible thought. So, uh, hardcore mode, y'all. Hardcore mode. If this doesn't deserve a like and a subscribe, I don't know what does. Shameless plug. Okay, um, I think that'll work right there. Oh, actually, I expected that wooden pickaxe to die, but I guess not. All right, and I've got a little bit more iron, I thought, but I don't remember where it was. 
Way up there. Okay, you know what? That works. I can get up there easy. Nerd pole. Very good. Okay, get a little bit more iron, and then, dude, I can have an iron uh, set of armor. No big deal whatsoever. That's awesome. Very good. Okay, I think I've exhausted all of the uh, iron that's, you know, immediately in my... within my grasp, at least. So... Oh, snap. Got to keep your eyes open. But I think I've done a really good job of, like, staying out of reach <laughs> from all the evil things down here. Um, is there something on that side? I feel like, yeah, there's some coal and there's more iron over there. You know what? I might dig down from the top. I think that may be a little bit of a safer route. I definitely want to keep it as safe as possible whenever I'm up here doing this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. So we're about 20 minutes into the recording. I'm thinking we'll keep these videos at about 20 to 30 minutes. So, um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have any suggestions on what I should build first. I've already mentioned I want to do a berry farm. One of those automated berry farms with the foxes. But the problem is you actually have to find a fox and you have to like lasso it. And sometimes that doesn't work because they're real skittish. So I don't know. I, I, may, I may need some help. I'm going to need some help. So let me know in the comments uh, what you guys are thinking that we should do first in this hardcore series. Aside from the basics. I mean, this, this is obviously, all of this is obviously the basics. All right, um, build myself another sheep. Do I have eight? Oh, I ate the other mutton. What, like an idiot? Ooh, there's a, oh, there's a honeybee. I can have, I can, I can totally get more honey. Honey's a great food source, especially at the early game. So, uh, hello, Mr. Honeybee. Um, it's good to see you, buddy. Um, I've got, I'm going to have to figure out, a, ooh, there's cows over here. Nice, the best source of food. I like that. Sorry, sheep. Sorry, I just I just need to have I need to have eight mutton so that I can cook more without wasting any coal. So sorry, so sorry. Um, I'm gonna leave the cows alive because they are not mutton. And uh, how do how many do I have? Six. Okay, so I need two more sheep, and then I can cook some more mutton, and then I'm okay with food for a while. Notice I haven't gone down in hunger in a while. That's because I ate a meat versus like if you were to eat sweet berries you got to eat so many of them to survive so i may just skip sweet berries altogether if we're gonna do so good like do so well at um you know obtaining food all the time Ooh, this is nice see i actually haven't decided where i want to plant my plant down my roots you know i haven't decided if i want to build on top of that uh forest over there or if i'm going to build somewhere else so it's kind of cool to go out and explore a little bit. I mean, this is not really intentional. I'm really just looking for sheep. <laughs> Ooh. It's one of those uh, obsidian... I don't know what the heck they're called. Blasted obsidian gates. I don't even know. Like obsidian... Things. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, let's come up here and check this out. Um... Oh, and heads up, so if you are watching this later on, obviously I will probably have other episodes, but I'll make an episode about 24, 12 to 24 hours after a, uh, a video is published. I'll film another one, so if you want to be helping me out in any way, be sure and um, you know make, make sure your comments are put in plenty early, is what I mean by that. Oh, snap, it's getting dark. Oh, snap. Okay, I've got a, you know what, I've got a, dang it. I've got a bed right now. This is what's up. Hopefully nothing comes at me while I'm sleeping out in the open. Come on. Ooh, lots of coal over here. Nice. I I, I, did, I completely lost track of the time. I, I don't know what happened. I was looking for another chest. I mean, there's always at least one chest. Maybe there's only one all the time. I don't know. But uh, the fact that there's a nether rack here and a block of gold. Okay, there is a block of gold up there. But I don't think I have... Yeah, I've got to use an iron pickaxe, I think, to get that gold. I need to remember that that's there. But, um, okay, what was I going to do? I saw I saw some coal. Yes. I'm a little little leery of going down there. Um, naturally. Yeah, that's not okay. Um... I'm going to let the sun kill you, sir. I'm just going to let the sun kill you. Here, maybe I'll hit you once. Eh. Got him. Nice. And I actually got an achievement. I actually killed him. That's awesome. Okay. 
Oh, snap. Nope, 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 nope. Skeletons are terrible. Skeletons are the devil. Okay. Uh, forget it. I'm not going to get anywhere near that. You're not going to get anywhere near. Skeletons are the worst. I hate them the worst. Or the most. I hate them the most. <laughs> of all the mobs in the game, they're the worst. Um, ooh, some... Oh. Okay, I've got some gold horse armor, but I didn't find a saddle. That would have been cool if I would have found a saddle. I see some horses over there. And I just realized I'm a little bit turned around. I'm not entirely sure which way is home. I think home is this way. Yeah, I see the sheep and the cows, which means I think home is that direction. Um, there's some horses here. That's a great thing, just because, you know, go travel a long distance. You want to make sure that you're able to do it in a, a decently time fa uh, timely fashion. So, uh, let me kill myself some more sheep. Leveled up to five. That's awesome. All right, and that's 11 mutton, not too shabby. Also, I'm going to kill these cows because I got the other cows a little closer to home. Might as well get myself some free beef. Don't run away from me. And don't let your drops drop into the... Oh. Dang it. Gotta be fast. Yes. Okay. I'm a ninja. <laughs> I'm such a ninja. Jump down. Jump out. Two seconds. Game over. Okay. Gotcha. And also, I got some uh, some leather. That's great. Leather's kind of hard to come by, so I'm happy that I got that. All right, and then I saw a little bit more sheepies and such, so I'm going to come over here and kill them, and then I'm going to make my way back home, cook my food, and I'll be settled. I'll be good on food for at least a little while. I'm also kind of using up the wooden sword, too. I don't need it. There you go. Can I, can I actually hit stuff with a wooden pickaxe? I can. What about a wooden axe? Nice. Okay, so I'm kind of using up the durability of all of my tools. Okay, need to eat something and then figure out which way home is because I feel like I've lost track Okay What happens if I get lost <laughs> I don't think I think that's where I need to go, but I'm not a hundred percent sure I Should have made a pillar with light or something to keep myself, you know, my keep my bearings But I, I think this is it right here as long as I'm able to find my tree with my ladders, as long as I can find that, I'm good. Actually, ooh, this is my ravine. Okay. I have found my ravine. I've got lots of, I just remembered, I got all that iron I needed to cook too. Cool. So I can come up here, I can do a bunch of smelting and uh, make some stuff. I mean, like I said, we need to make a shield. We need to make ourselves some armor, some tools. I don't know how much iron I have, but I have a decent number. 26. It's right there. There it is. All right, so, ooh, I don't have a lot of coal. Okay. 16, that's perfect. And in the meantime, okay, in the meantime, I'm going to chop down this acacia tree. Because it doesn't match anyway. And this will give me plenty of wood to be able to make a chest, because I am filling up on inventory super, super fast. All right, sweet. And it's getting dark-ish again, so... to make a double chest. I don't want to struggle for inventory space, and that's usually the first thing I neglect. I, I'm terrible at that stuff. It's not dark yet, but I did now. I set a re respawn point, which I guess if I die, I don't get to respawn, so what's the point? Okay, rotten flesh, uh, gravel, extra cobblestone, and andesite. I do want the armor for the horses, and I want the leather. Those are both valuable. Um, I have a uh, aqua affinity helmet already. That's sweet. It's not dark yet. Um... A couple of flint and steels and a fire charge. I got some pumpkin. I should probably plant that for food purposes. <laughs> uh, extra wool, granite, and uh, you know what? I'll keep everything else on me for now. That'll do. All right. Actually, I don't need the flint either. All right. So that's cooking very well. Um, I wish I would have found a little bit more coal, though. That would have been ideal. And I wish I would have set up shop in a place where I could see the sunset. This is terrible. Like I got to actually go, like, go around to figure out if the sun is setting. <laughs> I guess I'll just guess. Or I could sleep up there. Oh, wait. Oh, there's the sun. All right. <laughs> Sweet. We're good. Okay. So you are cooking. I'm going to throw in 8, 16, 24. Yeah. So I'm going to throw in 24 iron ore. Just, again, just to make sure everything cooks evenly so I don't waste any coal while I don't have a lot of coal. 
And then uh, once this is done, I'll slap that in there. And then I need to go get more coal. That's going to be the next thing that I'm lacking. And I would actually like to um, maybe go get some of those cows too. Which means I need a wheat farm. Okay, let's make a wheat farm. That's probably the easiest thing to do right now. I don't necessarily need more coal as long as I'm able to cook plenty of food and smelt this iron, which I should be able to do no problem. So yeah, I think that having a wheat farm, a decent sized wheat farm, and some uh, cows inside of a pen would, would probably be the smartest thing for me to do at this current moment. Obviously, making automated farms of stuff would be fantastic, but I don't have the technology. <laughs> I don't have the technology for that. So, uh, we'll take you and put that in there. Very good. Okay, I've got plenty of food now. So, let's try to get some seeds. Obviously, wheat. Wheat's amazing. I mean, you don't have to find that many seeds and you will eventually have more wheat than you'll ever want in your life. But, I mean, it's good to start off with a decent number. Yeah, there we go. And while that iron is uh, is is cooking, you know, or, or brewing or or smelting, there we go. While the iron is smelting, I uh, I definitely definitely as I'm standing here watching my arm flail around without a, any armor on at all, I realize how dumb it is to be out here in the middle of nowhere in hardcore mode. I mean, who knows? The illagers may raid or something. You know, I'm 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 a sitting duck. I am a sitting flipping duck. Until I get myself a house, an actual house that's defendable, and I get myself some more, um, I got 20 weed seeds, come on now, I need better than that. Um, yeah, some better equipment and a house that I can actually defend. We good? 25? Actually, 25 is good. 25 is actually one more than I need. I'm going to make a... To start, I'm going to make a 5x5 five five square. So we're going to do stone pickaxe. Stone hoe, sorry. And I've got water down there. So you know what? Let's build the farm. Build the farm right here for now. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. There's your square. Not going to last because I... I don't have water. Dang it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need I need a few of these here. I need some water. Otherwise, the, the land's not going to stay good anyway. Ideally, I would just grab four and then have an infinite... Actually, you only need two to make an infinite water source. So, let me... Let me do that right quick. Because I'll do that. I'm gonna chop out four pieces of dirt. Slap that baby down. Go get some more water, put it on the opposite corner, and bam, infinite water source. Really, really close to home. Look at me. Look at a professional Minecrafter. Alright, you guys, we're about 30, uh, 33 minutes into the recording. It'll be a slightly shorter, maybe, depending on the editing, but. I think this is probably a good stopping point. I'll get the farm set up and then I'll be done. But there you go. Infinite water source. And we'll do... Right there. Perfect. There we go. Alright guys, I am now a farmer. Yeah! Nice. Okay, so that's planted, and the sun is setting, so this is the perfect time to stop. So let me go ahead and grab some, and only sleep at night. What are you talking about? The sun's setting, yo! The things are gonna come get me! Come on! I hate this, I can't see the sunset. I'm gonna have to move to a new place. This is just a temporary place so I can get some equipment, so I can go travel and find a good place to be. But for now, this is an okay location. Um... Iron Nuggets, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this, and guys, next episode, we started hardcore, we've survived two full days, this is day three, uh, I've got a little bitty uh, farm, I intend on using this wheat once it grows to bring in some cows and multiply them and make myself a herd, and we're, we're working our way up, so we're doing a good job so far, and hope hopefully, keep this water bucket, um, hopefully we can uh, keep ourselves alive 
for a very long time. But for now, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode, the first episode of our uh, Minecraft Hardcore. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos, or as daily as I can get. Busy schedule, of course. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any ideas or thoughts for me in the comment section. Like I said, I'll be recording the next one in about 12 to 24 hours. And so get your thoughts or ideas in before then. Remember, guys, that I love... <laughs> the ladder up the tree is kind of cool looking. Uh, remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.